Yo, what to do? This your boy Double Up, and I'm back with another uh, uh, banger. And today I came in to tap in about that boy FYBJ Main, Mister. It hit different, and Adam Twenty Two. Basically, Adam Twenty Two, he always trying to poke the bear and like make some content, like. He 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 got into it with Aunt Glizzy, but well, let's just get into this content. But before we get into this content, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into this. He just walked on your ass. Well, put it like this. That's your opinion. Because <laughs> I heard another opinion, too. I'm a <laughs> say, man, do you know how many people in the streets walk up to me and shake my hand from that interview? Man, I love how you handle Aunt Glizzy, j man. Perfect. You're getting better. You're getting way smarter, J-Man. Yeah, I, I, and I, I had to pause it because I feel J-Man, man. He older, he more wiser, he way more mature. And Adam-22 want that boy to crash out. It's like, dang, bro, like, you not living that life, and if he crash out, you not going to bomb him out. So let's get back into the content, though. How you guys feel? Drop it in the comments. Hey. <laughs> You're getting way smarter. Do your homework, Adam. <laughs> who, who? Why, why are you doing, like, a normal voice? Cause this, these are the facts on phone them. I, I really wish I remember um, <coughs> bro name, but this a pot another big big influencer in Chicago. Well, I don't know in Chicago, but I I don't know. He he probably from New York or something. But long story short, a big influencer spoke out on that situation. Like man, this this how you talk to him. It hit different. And, and Guzzi, like when he said the thing about like when Doug died, or like, I forget when he said who, when who died, but he said like, oh block, they, they picked up hammers and, y- and y'all picked up keyboards or y'all picked up your phones. And I was just he, like, he, he said after we Doug turned died, the y'all turned to blogs and podcasters. Yo, yeah, yeah, and and in that moment, I was like, oh, my boy <laughs> is podding in a different way. Like he came to the pod with like bars in mind slash he's in the booth punching in. Like he's <laughs> dropping notable quotes now you see how Adam Twenty Two trying to stir the pot about this situation. When I feel like J Man, he handled it the right way, man. You you know you can't always just go back and forth with somebody and take it there, man. Especially when you grown, you got kids. How you guys feeling? Drop it in the comments. Let's get back into it. Notables and saying some savage. So basically, that you the people want to hear. Right the people a, love that shit. No, you over. Yeah, yeah, but you over dick sucking. Put it like this: the kids, <laughs> the kids wanted to hear that. The kids, let me <laughs> down to you because we grown ass men. Yeah, you're forty yeah, yeah. and you sound like a goofy bro. I'm just saying. Like, I'm, like, no, I'm saying what it is. No, he sounded like look, look, look. Put it like this: Aunt Glizzy in Chicago. Do your homework on what a Clizzy is. He sounded like a Clizzy to Chicago niggas like who really know what's going on. People is tired of dying. Like I, like I explained to Aunt Glizzy, bro. These these mothers and these these fathers and these the people who really out here who living day bro on phone number. and Glizzy somewhere paid ain't living that shit and festing our kids with that bullshit I told them. But this is the thing is different. that when Aunt Glizzy says that to you, you need to be able to say something back that is able to do battle with that kind of statement, you know, like or or else. Man, do you see Adam 22, man? He always stirring the pot, bro. Like, let that man be, man. If they got a mutual understanding and he said what he said and J-Man ain't got a problem with it, why is you trying to make this man really have a rebuttal for this stuff, man? Like, how you guys feel about that? But let's get back into this. His awful, toxic, evil energy is going to win. And I'm not saying that that's the easiest thing because it's obviously easier to go low. If you had responded and said, hey, ain't Guzzi, you don't know how many bodies FYB dropped over the years. Or no, put it like this. I'm now, saying that no, 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 no. You don't say that, J-Man. That's why the other motherfucker said, J-Man, great way. You mm-hmm, handled okay, that great. Okay. Do you understand? You're saying that that, that was an opportunity for you to show your growth. They tried to growth. trick me out my spot. <laughs> Is y'all stupid? <laughs> I'm pushing the peace. They wanted me to kill Aunt Glizzy when he passed me that gun. Mm-hmm. Let's just start there. They wanted me to crash out. I said, nigga, do your homework on. Come on, bro. Yeah, that was crazy when the nigga put the speak facts. Handing you the blick, right? That's like Dirk in India. I'm too smart for this, bro. Here, take this. I'm too smart for this, Adam. I could do this shit on sleep. I keep telling you this. 
That was the perfect way that you handled that situation, bro. Why would I feed into the negative shit so the kids would be like, damn, oh, that's what... Nah, that's not what we own. Why the fuck would I speak into that? Even if that was... Man, I love where F by B J man coming from, cause he's he's speaking smart and with like intelligence, man. Cause you can't always crash out, man. How you guys feel? Drop it in the comments. Let's get back into the content. The case, gang. That's not what we preaching to the kids, bro. What the fuck is y'all is y'all understanding, man? But he's an outsider. Did y'all not just see me at the fucking cemetery? Do y'all do y'all homework on Burr Oaks? Do y'all homework on <coughs> niggas getting into it over these blocks, bro? On, and on Fulton Gray, going to the same cemetery. What the fuck is y'all talking about, bro? Do it make sense? Do this shit really make sense, Adam? Motherfuckers going back and forth, ending up at the same cemetery. Let's just start there. Let's just start there. Think about it. Wake the fuck up. Mm -hmm. And you too damn old, Adam, to be running this platform like this. <laughs> Facts. Like what? I'm telling you the real analysis of how that conversation went. No, that's cap, bro. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you the real, bro. But people see through the whole you little like activist thing. You like the baby Aunt Lizzy right now. I'm telling you, he's you like you. the baby Aunt Lizzy right now. He did his thing thing. He ain't do shit, bro. He did his thingy thing. He talked some bullshit on phone them gray like in, like the regular goofy motherfucker on the corner who talking on my daughter and a crack the regular crash dummy on my daughter. That's how he talking like a regular crash dummy, shorty. Mm. Stop playing with me on my daughter. Y'all want me to get out my body on this platform? I'm trying to be cool on my daughter. What's wrong with him? Y'all don't, y'all don't. And he dead serious. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I see him talking to kids and all that stuff. He really trying to push the peace. I don't, he might do it in a funny way, but he really been talking to the kids trying to stop the violence because, I mean, at the end of the day, only people that's hurting from violence is your people, man. You get what I'm saying? But let's get back into it. I don't get the picture. We tired of these people dying in Chicago, bro. Y'all think this shit a gang. Y'all look at our life like a fucking movie, bro. Facts. We not no fucking action figures, bro. We real people, bro. The fuck is wrong with y'all, bro? And so Young feel like way too damn, obviously. You see what I'm saying? Young is too damn. I'm not trying to be on this platform bashing my homies, bro. Yeah. But you And that's about it for that, man. I just wanted to come tap in real quick to see how you guys feel about Adam-22 always stirring the pot. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make this man crash out on Aunt Glizzy and all that type of stuff. I think he handled it the right way, man. But how you guys feel, drop it in the comments. But until next time, I'm out.